Hey, what's up guys? It's Marf, and today I wanted to talk about Asphalt 9. I know I always talk about this game, but um, it really is a big part of mobile gaming. Um, the app has become, or the game, has become really, really popular, and I believe it has over like 400,000 reviews on the App Store and a, like a 4.8 or a 4.9 rating, which is really, really crazy. Uh, and so a lot of people don't really get how big this game is and how big of an impact it's had. Uh, but I wanted to talk about today the fact that it has no competition and you might be like, what do you mean by that? Well, if you look at Asphalt 9 as a game, right, it's a mobile game, so that already restricts it to a certain platform, right? Um, and if you look at what type of game it is, it is a, you know, an arcade racing game, but with real cars and real locations. So now you've kind of gotten rid of a bunch of different genres, like maybe MMOs or FPS games. So you really narrowed it down to one specific game on a specific platform. And now you have to look at what other options are available besides Asphalt 9. And the most obvious example would be Asphalt 8. But that's a whole different story. I mean, most people playing Asphalt 9 who have played Asphalt 8 have quit Asphalt 8 and are now only playing Asphalt 9. And the people who have just started with Asphalt 9 probably aren't looking to go back in the series, although I highly suggest it because the previous games are what I would believe to be the better games. But regardless, you're looking at a game in which it's the newest one in the franchise. And Gameloft has kind of split their priorities into kind of keeping Asphalt 8 alive for as long as possible and just kind of milking as much money as they can out of that game and kind of expanding Asphalt 9 and obviously bringing it to a larger audience and making as much money as possible on that game. Um, so anyway, we've really narrowed it down to where if you want to get an, an experience similar to Asphalt 9, you're either looking at Asphalt 8 and here's the other option. You know, you can tell me that Need for Speed is also an arcade racing game. However, I would argue that Need for Speed No Limits is just a glorified drag racing game. If you have ever played Need for Speed No Limits, I think you'll agree with me on that one because if you look at how the game plays, the um, the majority of, of races are only like 30 seconds, right? And it really just depends on your car rank, or I think they call it PR. Um, and so obviously if you have a better PR than someone else, you will win uh, simply because of your performance. I mean, obviously you can like crash into a wall the entire time and maybe another opponent, uh, opponent will be able to beat you, but it still stands, you know, in general that it really is a glorified drag racing game. It does give the option or it gives a player a bit more options in terms of freedom. Like you, you don't have, you have some control over the car, but um, it really is just a glorified drag race. And I think you guys know what I mean by that if you have played the game. And um, when you look at Asphalt 9, you might say like, well, there are a ton of similarities with Need for Speed No Limits. I mean, there's a fuel system. Um, I believe the fuel system in Asphalt 9 is a bit better than the one in No Limits, but regardless, um, there is a car ranking system in Asphalt 9. I mean, you can look at all, you know, not only the classes in Asphalt 9, but also just the rank itself. And um, you can make those similarities where the uh, tracks aren't also that long. Each track in Asphalt 9, depending on when you play, obviously, but most of them are gonna be around one minute and 20 seconds ish, one minute, 30 seconds, around like like that 90 second mark there. And that's what Game Off was kind of going for. So kind of triple the length of uh, Need for Speed No Limits. But if you look at how you play the game, obviously you can play Asphalt 9 with um, the touch, uh, I totally forgot, oh, touch drive, that's what it's called. Um, then you kind of have that drag race vibe. However, once you switch that off, the player does get uh, generally a lot more control over a game like Need for Speed No Limits. And I think that's what mainly separates these two games and kind of puts Need for Speed No Limits more into that drag racing category than, you know, it does separating, you know, with Asphalt 9. And I think that that is a really, really big problem that Asphalt 9 is the only game on mobile where you can really get this sort of high octane, fast paced racing, you know, experience where you have somewhat, you know, control over your car besides the gas pedal. Um, well, I mean, you do have auto accelerate in Asphalt 9, but the point is, is that you've seen all these different esports competitions with Asphalt 9, and you know, you can kind of look at it being like, that kind of is a good idea. I mean, it's not just a straight who has a better car. I mean, you can give people the same car rank, and people can approach the game in different ways and, and find different routes and find different jumping patterns and the, you know when they 360 and when they use Nitro and all these different things and it gives the player a lot more freedom than other games and the problem is, is that there is no other game that I can find on mobile that gives the player freedom over their car um, on like a drag racing game and doesn't necessarily rely on 
the car rank uh, to determine who finishes first. Like, I've been playing multiplayer in Asphalt 9 ever since it came out, and I still consistently will be able to beat opponents who have a higher ranked car than I do simply because they take a wrong route, uh, or I'm able to knock them down with a spin, or I'm just able to do something like ni better nitro efficiency in, in the way that I handle my nitros and the way that I spin and whatnot, because I'm able to beat my opponents even though they have a higher ranked car than I, than, than I do. Um, and so, you know, there, there really does put into perspective that there really is no other game like Asphalt 9 uh, on the App Store. And the reason why I wanted to talk about this is because that has had a huge effect on Asphalt 9. I mean, you see how Gameloft has implemented things like pay-to-win cars. And like I've talked about before in terms of like the Mercedes and, and just all these different cars that you have to open a bunch of packs in order to get, you know, a bunch of stars for the car. Um, and you've seen how they put in energy systems and how they put ticket systems in and how they have the car rank system in general and how they have touch drive and all these different things. And the problem is, is that because Asphalt 9 has no competition, Gameloft is able to get away with these things because the other option besides playing Asphalt 9 is getting a PC or a console and playing, you know, quote unquote real games, even though I would consider mobile games to be real games, but whatever or just not playing Asphalt 9 at all. Because if you want the experience that Asphalt 9 gives you, well, you just can't get that on mobile anymore. Of course, you could play Asphalt 8, but I mean, that game is just so far gone at this point. You could go to like an Android emulator or, or an older iOS um, version to play uh, 6 or 7. Um, but I mean, who's gonna go out of the way to do that? I, I don't think many people will. Um, and so you get into this gridlock or this deadlock where Gameloft has complete control over the arcade racing genre on mobile. Um, I mean, of course you could, cope, you could go play drag racing games and if that's what you enjoy, don't let me stomp out all, uh, all over your, your having fun, I guess you could say, for drag racing games. It's just that I, there's no control over the car and it's just straight who has the better car and I don't enjoy that, you know, that uh, gameplay. I like Asphalt because it gives the player more freedom and if you have better skill than someone else, you will be able to beat them even if they have a higher ranked car than you do. So I wanted to talk about this because I wanted to bring it to your attention and, and because it's really important to recognize that the only reason why, why people are still playing Asphalt is because there is nothing else to play. And that is a very big problem. And we've seen Need for Speed No Limits have this, this really long run. I mean, they've been, that, that game's been out for a very long time. And so what I'm really, really hoping is that maybe at the end of this year when the new Need for Speed comes out on consoles, they make another Need for Speed on mobile or next year they they just explode into the mobile gaming genre, you know, with just an incredible need for speed. Like I'm talking an open world, you know, just all these different things. And I think EA has the potential to do that. I just don't know if they will because maybe they're just complacent with how um, Need for Speed No Limits is. If they're making enough money and they really don't need to do much, then I guess they, they probably won't make a new game because it does take a lot to make a new game, especially on mobile because of how much the technology advances over the couple years. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to talk about this because it really is bad that Asphalt 9 has no competition. And if we don't see any competition really soon from other AAA studios or just even indie studios making a good racing game, then Asphalt 9 could really start to go downhill. It, it will become even more pay to win. It will beca become even more frustrating to play. And that's a really big issue. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you guys in the next video.